Hi everyone and welcome to Eagle Forum's Capitol Hill Update. My name is Kirsten Hassler and I am Eagle Forum's Executive Director. And I'm Tabitha Walter, Eagle Forum's Political Director. While business in DC quiets this week for Thanksgiving, we thought we would take some time to alert you about a bill very closely related to the Equality Act. This bill called the Fairness for All Act is essentially the Equality Act with one minor change. Before we mention that change, let's take a second to reiterate the Equality Act's dangers. If the Equality Act is signed into law, it will grant men the right to sue if they are denied access to women's private spaces, such as showers, bathrooms, and nursing rooms. This is because the Equality Act essentially amends the Civil Rights Act of 1964 to prohibit discrimination based on sexual orientation and gender identity. Men not only will have access to showers, bathrooms, and nursing rooms, as I said, but they will also have access to women's prisons and shelters. Women's athletics will be dominated by men. And allowing men into women-only spaces and organizations harms women. In Loudoun County, Virginia, a young man identifying as female sexually assaulted a young woman in a school bathroom, and later the school district attempted to cover it up. In addition to its dangers posed to women and girls, the SOGI ideology found in the Equality Act also imposes on businesses and strips individuals of their religious freedoms. Religious adoption and foster agencies are some of the institutions that are currently being targeted. In the case of Sharon Fulton versus City of Philadelphia, the government stopped placing foster children in homes that partnered with Catholic Social Services based on their policy of placing children in homes where the marital unit is one man and one woman. This not only undercuts the services of this organization, but disadvantages children in need of loving homes. This case is evidence of the widespread consequences that proponents of equality legislation choose to ignore. Mm, that's terrible. Thank you for that explanation, Kirsten. Now, the Fairness for All Act is essentially the same bill as the Equality Act, except it includes a religious exemption. It adopts the reasoning of the Equality Act and accepts that a disagreement pertaining to the nature of marriage and the biology of sex are grounds for discrimination. It is a slippery slope to accept the underlying message of the Equality Act, that one can determine his or her own gender and indeed change it when one so desires. Even with its religious liberty carve out, the Fairness for All Act still presents the same risks to win women and girls that the Equality Act does. And sadly, this legislation was introduced by Utah Republican Representative Chris Stewart, and it is so far supported by 22 House Republicans. Eagle Forum will continue to monitor the Fairness for All Act, so please be sure to sign up for our legislative alert so that you can sound the alarm when we need your help. Have a wonderful Thanksgiving, and we will see you next week.